Hello Simmers, in this video I am going over the new Curse Forge mod system for Sims 4. Um, pretty awesome. I know if you're a beginner, um, you know, you're, you're just a beginner when it comes to mods. Um, you don't know really how to install mods. You might be kind of confused. There could be uh, some Patreon accounts that you're trying to use to install this mod and you may be going through issues. So this basically was created <clears throat> so that way us as Simmers would have a place to go uh, to really gain access to all of the mods in CC that we love so much, right? And it's like a protective um, site to go to um, and things of that nature. So I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through this Curse Forge because you guys are going to see me do a lot more videos on installation, even videos that I've already went over where you go to their site and you install the mods such as MC Command Center and so forth. Instead of going straight to their sites, I'm going to be showing you what it's like to go through Curse Forge to install these mods and get them into your game. So that's going to be awesome. Um, so look forward to that, guys. If you guys have any suggestions yourself uh, that you want to put into the comment section um, on mods you want me to go over that you know are provided through Curse Forge, let me know. I would definitely do that for you. Even if I already recorded it, obviously I would have to do a new one, considering the fact this is a new method to installing. Okay. Um, number two um, that I also want to go over with you guys is that um curse forge is completely safe you can still uh donate to your creators if you want uh to support them and you can still get sent to their uh patreon sites um if you want to follow them or subscribe to them and things like that um and i will show you guys that in this video so let's get right into it so right here this is the home page of curse forge which is really cool um it says the sims 4 official mod hub the sims and curse forge are collaborating to bring you the first ever sims 4 official mod hub a secure and curated space for the highest quality mod mods and cc okay if you go down you'll be able to see a lot more about this um this website and just um all of the people who use it everybody who gets the information that they need provided for them and also does other games like you know world of warcraft things like that um so yeah pretty cool you can just like kind of go into this and just read it for yourself even if um you know you know somebody who creates mods and they want to you know get on to the hub and stuff like that all right so what you would do is you would click check it out now okay and once you do, once you click that, it's going to open up a new tab, okay? In that tab, it's going to bring you to the all build catalog, okay? So this will be just like any other custom content that you would install for builds. Um, so for this particular situation, um, you would just look into whatever is like what you want, like a modern teen bedroom or a stylish wood or, you know, so forth and so forth. Cool pools, things like that. And you would just download it like you would any other custom content. Um, but I like to show you guys the details of that. So you kind of, you know, know what comes with it. So like if you just click download, it's going to download the file. But if you click on the actual creator title, it will bring you into the description, okay? So then it's going to show you, like, the base game compatibility, what all stuff you need it with it, that kind of stuff, the information you need for the most part. If you select over to files, it will then let you uh, download this this particular custom content, okay? Super simple process. Also lets you know when it was last uploaded. Um, also, like, the update. Um, if it has been updated since it was uploaded, that kind of stuff. Okay. So all cool beans, all cool beans. So let's go back real quick. Uh, so this is the all build catalog. They have literally different, um, titles for different, you know, uses, whatever you're using it for. Okay. So you can just select mods, which is right under the Sims 4 here. And then it shows all mods. Okay, you can search a specific mod. Um, in the case of like, hey, I heard about this mod. I want to see if the Creator Hub has it. And you can search it and then it will have it there. And then you can go ahead and proceed with downloading. Or you can just use uh, this tab here to like get specific mods for specific packs, that kind of stuff. Um, you can even sort it by popularity or, you know, total downloads, the name, the date created, last updated, all that stuff. Okay. So pretty cool. Um, so I just kind of want you guys to know exactly how to get around with this new um, system that we're using to help us with our mods because mods are an important part to Sims gameplay. And a lot of us, especially if we're brand new, it just can be a lot of nerve wracking and confusion and you just really want to do it right and you don't want to mess up your game. So that is why we're here in the first place. Okay, guys. So this is just basically a gist of how you would use it. Um, we'll use Wonderful Whims as an example. You would just click on the 
title, like I told you guys before with the builds. And then um, you'll read through the description as if you would any mod. If you guys watch any of my other installation videos, you know I always say read through the description because the description is important for you. Although it may seem like it's not, it's going to let you know if there's anything that you need for this um, download. It's going to let you know what it's compatible with and what it's not compatible with. And these are going to stop you from, you know, encountering any issues with installation. Okay. So yeah, read through this. And also it has the images of what the mod looks like and what you get out of it. So these are kind of like really, really important. Um, so you can go to files and that's how you would proceed with downloading. They even have a, a change log here. So it lets you know like what's fixed, what's been changed, all that good jazz, okay? It also lets you know it was just updated two days ago from where when I'm posting this video or recording it, rather. Um, and then you will proceed with downloading, okay? I will go over specific installations from this site for these specific mods, so I'm not doing that right now. I just wanted you guys to see the gist of how to get around, what you need to click, where you need to go, that kind of stuff, so you're not feeling like you're lost. Um, images as well is very helpful. I love this part, too, because... If you want to know how to use the freaking mod and you want to know what's in it and you want to know what you're going to get out of it, pictures are just as important as the description. So you can like select a picture, check it out. It's going to put it on big screen. I don't really remember us having that option. Like if you would go to a Patreon, you would see the pictures, but if it's not bold, you can't really click on them to make them bigger to really see what's going on with that mod. So I think this is a this is a pretty cool add-on as well. All right. So like I said, guys, this is just a video to let you guys know how to get around if you were confused on how to get around. And if all else fails, you can always just click the back button if you get lost and it will bring you right back where we started, which was the all build catalog. OK, and you can click like base game stuff. It'll tell you what build stuff is in the base game. You can go to rooms and lots, okay? And then you can see what, like, stuff packs you can get, that kind of stuff, like, and, and what mods and CC you can get with certain stuff packs. It's just so freaking cool. I really, I really like it, creating a sim. Um, so just, you guys have fun, you know? They have the eyelashes custom content, which I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting some of that. All right, so as you guys are watching this video, if you're seeing anything as I'm, I'm scrolling that you would love for me to cover or you would love for me to go over just so you can feel confident in making sure that you're installing it properly and you're not missing a beat, let me know because guys, let's be real. Content creators are people just like us and their content always at some point needs to be updated, um, needs some fixes or encounter fixes or hasn't encountered fixes. So sometimes we install things, we think we're doing something wrong when in reality, um, it may be just the content creator needs to update something or change something, things like that. So me going over how to install these is to make it easier for you guys to make sure you're not missing a beat. Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys that I forgot to show you when I went on here is that when you do go and click on these important titles to get the mod installed, they still have their websites, <laughs> okay? So, like, look, I'm going to show you. It says it's going to take you out of Curse Forge at this point, and it takes you to MC Command Center. So, and this isn't just for MC Command Center. All the other mods, um, they will still take you to their Patreons and their websites. So, if it's an easier process or you need more information or you want to get their Discord links, that kind of stuff, it is going to be helpful to still go back to their website to get this information, okay? So, yeah, now we have a, in my way, the way I see this is we have the original way that we've always installed mods, which is going to the Mod Creators Patreon and doing it that way. But you also have a whole hub of mods that you can get mods from that's su that's supposed to be safe that you can go in there install your mods and bada beam bada bam okay yes it may seem like it's a lot easier but you still come across issues from time to time and that's why i love to create these videos make sure you guys don't feel like lost in the, the wilderness like i did when i was first starting and you don't really like know what to do you know so i hope that this is helpful i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up comment below whatever mods you want to see me install from um curse forge i would love to show you guys whatever installations you need help with and yeah let me know let me know um what you what mods you enjoy from this uh site what custom content you want to see um and subscribe to the channel for more content like this thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and you guys have a wonderful rest of the day